Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do some freehand roses. I've started off with Oint Peel Off Base Coat and here is China Glaze Metallic Muse. I love this polish. And I'm going to cap my edge first because it is one of those super metallic polishes and uh, or chromey like chromey like polishes and uh, it would look all buggered up if I didn't do that first so we're gonna go ahead and with our first coat of metallic muse this is just so pretty and I normally don't get into polishes like this per se but oh just loving it loving the look of it and it is rather brush stroke looking, but as it dries, it ends up, you know, some of that goes away a little bit. Got a little bit of a mess over here to clean up. Hang on. Get that out of the way. So that's just one beautiful coat of Metallic Muse. I'm going to top it with this OPI, and this one is called Ecstatic Prismatic. It is so pretty. Here we go with our first coat of Aesthetic Prismatic. It's just perfect for this base color. It's just, oh, it's got so much shimmer in it. So there's one coat of that, and we're going to go in for our second coat. Get it all shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Got to break Woody out and do a little bit of cleanup. Ouchie, ouchies. Ew. I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat, get it dry down, so we can do some more playing. I love the look of this. So, so pretty. Gonna break Woody out again. There we go. And that's what that looks like all on its own. Isn't that gorgeous? There's a swatch photo of it. I'll be using Apple Barrel Lilac Mist, Purple Iris, Concord Grape, and I have this white out, but I end up not using it, so, you know, craziness. Got some out on my little mat. I'll be using my Robin Moses Nail Art Brush, The Wand. I've got a little cup of water over there. So here we go, let's get started. So to do roses, I've watched tons and tons of videos on these over the years. And uh, I just, I'm gonna do kind of like a blob. That's how you get started on these. And that's why I decided to do this, is because, uh, you know, doing these roses just seems like the easiest thing to get started with for me. And I am just kind of doing like a rose over in that corner my nail and I'm sorry that I'm so far from it but with that wand uh, brush and everything else and I knew I'd be moving around a whole lot and I didn't want to keep getting out of frames so if I keep doing some more of this freehand stuff I'll have to work on my setup here a little bit I'm going across that edge so there we go with the first little blob I am adding some water to this paint and watering it down some. And now I'm just going to go in and start doing like some little swoops or C's or, you know, whatever you're, <coughs> excuse me, whatever you want to call them. I guess half circles, blobs. But I'm just going around and putting some of them in under that color. And I'm going to clean off this brush on my paper towel get it wet some more and go in with the next color trying to load my brush up I am still learning I am so not a freehand artist by any stretch of the imagination but I always tell you you gotta practice to get good and you know if I ever expect to get good at any of this freehand I'm gonna have to practice more <laughs> Okay, I'll be using Holly Branch and New Shamrock uh, green acrylic paints to do some leaves. And as you guys will see, as we carry on with this manicure, it just keeps evolving. I was just going to do roses, but then I decided they really needed leaves. And my leaves are kind of just like little teardrops. Um, going in with the lighter green first, 
And then I'm going to dab in some of the darker green here a little bit. Kind of down the centers to kind of add veining or whatever to it. Just give it a little dimension. I am so not perfect at this, but I really think it turned out really good in the long run. So there we go. We've got some leaves going. Now I'm going to get some of this dark green and just go down the center and kind of, I'm doing like some stippling or tap, tap, tapping with the brush, kind of to do the veining, you know, just kind of working on it. So there we go. That is it so far. And I decided the other nails needed something. So I'm putting in some more leaves. So there you can see a little better how I was doing my leaves. Kind of shaped like an eye, I guess. I don't know. If I was trying to do an eye, I wouldn't be able to do one. And we're going to put two leaves up here in this corner. And I do love playing with acrylic paints, though, because if you mess up on it, you just go wash it off, start over. No big deal. And I'm doing that same kind of little veining or whatever on the inside of these leaves, too. Got some over on my pinky. I just did that on the other nails, on all of them. I guess you can see that now. Ugh. This one was, you know, totally out of my comfort zone, so I'm, I'm just winging it. Okay, so now I'm going to draw in, like, just some, like, vintage. Um, not really graceful at this. This is very, very tricky. But I think I ended up pulling it off okay, you know, for, for a beginner. So there we go. And I'm going to go in with some of the light green and just kind of highlight over some of these um, vines. Vineage. Some vineage. So, I do really, really enjoy this. So, you might get to see me a little bit more break out of my comfort zone. And I actually have my friend Drew and Miss Robin Moses to thank for it. Drew does a lot of freehand stuff and... I'm in awe of it. So between her and Miss Angel from Angel's Heavenly Nails, <clears throat> and, excuse me, and Madly Manicured, and the very awesome, talented Miss Robin Moses, I just decided I just have I have to get started somewhere. And I have to tell you, I'm really stoked how well this first one went. But I would love to hear what you think. You've got to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. So I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat, seal all that acrylic paint in, and call it finished. And I really do consider this one a success because I enjoyed it. And um, it's not perfect, but it's so much better than I thought it was going to be. Here comes my swatch photo. Like I said, leave me a comment down below. I'd really love to hear from you. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.